and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Simic Hydras, our next deck on Rotation Proof Monday here today. So uh, Mondays on the channel, uh, I make decks that are completely Rotation Proof. Now, what you're probably looking at this deck list right away and saying, wait, completely Rotation Proof? There's land war elves right here, and that is true. So there's one exception that I make in any of these decks as far as a card to put in. I don't make any exception with like the, the rare dual lands or anything else. The only only card is just land war elf because this card is just so good. A one mana mana creature is such a good card, and it's just a common. And if you're crafting like the decks for arena, um, that's kind of the point of rotation proof is, is to give people... Um, idea decks and ideas of things to build on uh, to play standard right now on arena where they don't have to worry about their cards rotating i do just recommend using four wild cards on this common from dominaria though uh, land or elves is just such a good card um, if you don't want to play land or elves in the deck and you are a against land or elves and you know you want to keep your deck completely um, rotation proof though then uh go with paradise druid you know so like that's 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 the step up so you know it's paradise druid isn't like that much worse than land war elves i suppose but yeah so that's that's the card that uh you would replace that with uh next set should be out in approximately one month on arena right about right around one month from now um give or take uh let's see so what we we have here though is we are a hydra tribal deck so hydral yeah there you go hydra tribal is hydral so the reason why we're a hydra tribal deck is because this vicious watcher over here gargos our hydra spells cost four less to cast so that means that whenever we're casting these x uh x spell hydras voracious hydra hydrocrasis you already start with four uh mana in there so like you can play hydrocrasis for for two mana and it's like X is four if you have Gargos in play. So it's basically like a six mana Hydro Crisis. You know, you get you get a four four, you get to draw two cards, gain two life for just two mana. Pretty crazy. So yeah, so we're we're playing a Gargos Hydro deck here today. Um, so we're gonna be ramping. We got our twelve mana creatures, Risen Reef, Cavalier of Thorns. We're ramping up, trying to get to Gargos, and then after Gargos, play some gigantic Hydras. Should be a lot of fun. Um, I, I would usually maybe play like more mass manipulation in this deck. I was you know thinking about getting more mass manipulations like instead of Ugin and shifting Ceratops and stuff. But the the four blue is pretty tough uh, with just having Breeding Pool and Temple of Mystery. I got Thornwood Falls in there also. I didn't want to just play a whole lot more tap lands. So we already got temples. I, I don't really want to play like eight tap lands. So just going with the one mass manipulation in the sideboard against really slow control decks. That you can steal their uh, planeswalkers for the most part there, um, but yeah, let's so let's give this a try. So with our rotation proof decks, we play them through a traditional constructed league. See if we can get to five wins before we get to two losses. See whichever happens first. This is the fourth Monday that we've done rotation proof Monday so far. So if you like this idea and you want more, I I guess I'm using the word ideas again, but if, if you like rotation proof decks and you want more ideas uh, for Arena and you're over on the YouTube channel, make sure you check out the playlist part of my channel. They All the rotation proof decks are saved in one playlist. Uh, so this, these are decks 13 through 16. So after this, we're going to have 16 rotation proof decks for you to peruse. Yeah, basically that. Like, <laughs> Risen Reef um, doesn't go with the deck a ton, but it's just such a strong card on its own that it's just in here because <laughs> it's just so good. I have not tried any big janky dinosaur deck with like Polyraptor and Sarkin's Unsealing and stuff. We had we did play a Jund Unsealing Jund Sarkin's Unsealing deck probably about a month or so ago, and it went really well. I'm just going to grab a temple out of here. Honestly, I should probably be putting Gargos back. Because, um, like, if we play Terminal Land War Elf and they kill my Land War Elf, then we're going to be really slow. So, honestly, I should probably be putting Gargos back.
But we're a Hydra deck. I want to be playing my Gargos. So I'm not putting it back because I want to play him. <laughs> you'll you'll figure it out, Lords. You'll be able to play Magic without Search for Escanta. You'll figure it out. Ooh, that's the new planes. It's nice looking planes. This would be a great time to draw Risen Reef. Or any of the other 11 mana creatures that we have. <clears throat> Vampires. Good draw. A mana creature. Soren. Defeating you will not bring me pleasure. Nor pain. Thirst for life. I will protect the virtue of this world. The land fights for us. Do not defy aristocracy. Man, I'm sorry, my throat today. Not bother me. <clears throat> Um, no, so the, the, the cards, yeah, the old cards are, they're just going to be rotating out as simple as that. Um, they could get reprinted, but a very, very small percentage of them will, uh, if they do, if any, but yeah, basically they're just going to be leaving standard and, you know, we're going to have new cards instead. Could have attacked Soren for three and then played Gargos. But it's probably good just to get Soren out of here, so we have to attack Soren for six, so playing the new Nissa. But next turn, I. Oh, man. So I was going to be able to play Gargos and then. Uh, um, four, five, six, seven. I, so I could have played Gargos plus Krasis for seven next turn. <laughs> 13 mana. I guess uh, that's actually not 15 mana worth of stuff the next turn. All right, so vampires, to be honest, I don't really have a great vampire sideboard. Anti-vampire sideboard. I do think Veil of Summer is a pretty good card against vampires. You know, all their removal is black, so it's just counter removal spell plus draw a card. I think mass, I'm a little worried about actually casting mass manipulation here of having the four blue sources, especially how fast vampires kills you. So I'm not going to be bringing it in. I think I'm just going to cut Risen Reef, I guess. I don't really like shifting Ceratops that much either. Maybe I get an extra Ugin in here. So one Ceratops and the Risen Reefs out. And just play Veil of Summers. And let's go. What are we going to do about Soren? I guess we'll just attack Soren. Like we did there that last game. So what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to attack Soren. If they have Legion's End... We may have to just... Delete Magic Arena. <laughs> Say that was it. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> so we're really hoping no Legion's then.
Yay. I guess you do. We're still pretty dead. That thing's cool. <laughs> hey, Sin Christ. <clears throat> so I know I could have kept Veil of Summer available. But I... I think I want to keep it available to protect the Hydras and just, again, just risk the Legion's End. This is but a taste of my power. Yeah, no Legion's End, but yeah. Three mana, five, five, draw two, plus also have a ridiculously strong Planeswalker on the battlefield as well. <clears throat> It's a very good use of three of three mana. I guess you do. Well, the problem with yeah, I mean, getting to six mana for mass manipulation isn't a problem. Getting to the four blue for mass manipulation is what I'm worried about. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, I can only go Hydra for four. Can't even kill Champion of Dusk. I can kill Lieutenant though. If I, I guess playing Leafkin is just free. One, two, three, four. Yeah, playing Leafkin is just free because none of these just add two now. I mean, I, I don't have. Oh wait, what? Oh yeah, that one's summoning sick. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we'll just kill the lieutenant. Yeah, I know. I do have four blue sources this game. I do. I mean, I wouldn't have it until the next turn, but yeah, so I, I would be able to this game. Just I don't think every game is going to be like that. These temples have really s slowed me down. Like, temples on the draw have been not great. Really slowed me down. You can tell I couldn't have Vela Summer there. What does this deck lose by not being Bant? Um, I mean, if you play Bant, you could play, yeah, you could play Teferi, you can play uh, Deputy of Detention as well. The blood is alive. What? Didn't you do the damage to me? I guess, I guess they don't want me to add. Yeah, that does save a lot of mana. It does save four mana. So three, four, five, six. I, mean, I should just be dead. Bant's kind of a tough mana base to do. You know, just three color mana bases are a little tough with rotation proof decks. Not impossible, though. Well, that was a very good hand for the opponent. Turn three champion, turn four champion. Yeah, baff Baffling End is a rotating card. But yes, yeah, white, you can have, like, Devout Decree for vampires and yeah you you get a lot better removal adding white to the deck for sure Bleh. 
Don't get that free block in. There's a reason why Vampires is the best deck in the format. Well, Sweat, if you're sick of <laughs> Champion of Dusk and Field of the Dead, maybe Rampaging Ferocidon is for you. <laughs> yeah, we could make Field of the Dead vampires. We still got six cards in hand over there. Quite a few. Rotation is a month away. So yeah, Champion Chain of Dusk is only around for another month. So if I play Krasis for four, my opponent's gonna kill the Cavalier Thorns in response. And I will not be able to save it. That's how life goes. Just so much better to do four than three. Oh, no, we got to play land. If I attack, they just Dante Vanguard. GG. I'd say that hand was above average from our opponent. All right, Hydras. Let's see how we can do for the next game. We did get one game. Got a game there. Yeah, that's what Champion Dusk will do. They had all the creatures, all the removal, because that ancest turn three Ancestral Recall. Real tough to beat. Okay, match number two. Yeah, vamp like basically a lot of the vampires are rotating out. Um... Legion's Lieutenant, Champion of Dusk, uh, Legion's Landing, all that kind of stuff. The Sky Marcher Aspirant, um, Sanctum Seeker. Adanto Vanguard, of course. So Vantire Vampires is losing almost everything at rotation.
So if you're sick of vamp vampires, you only got another month. Ah, the old Temple Tribal. Classic deck. What? They put a basic in their Temple Tribal deck? What are they doing over here? That's a good card. Sure. Free land. Yeah, sorry, Narinen. Okay, Golos. Um, I have, I have, um, I wasn't upset with any of the changes in modern though. Like, it makes sense, like how much, like how many graveyard decks there are in the format. It's just widespread everywhere, and and then banning banning faithless looting to try to um, put the shift the focus of modern instead of so much on the graveyard on the battlefield in the hand makes sense i wish i could kill golos but i can't i don't dragon. think that killing gift of paradise is he really worth it i was certainly considering it i'm I'm kind of surprised they are playing Gift of Paradise in a Field of the Dead deck. Because usually you want your ramp spells in a Field of the Dead deck. Whoa, whoops. I just clicked on the wrong creature. I was just talking. I clicked on the wrong creature. <laughs> whoops. Anyway, uh, you, you want your ramp spells to be able to put extra lands into play. Uh, that wasn't great. <laughs> The sub count today is four. There we go. That was not my best attack of my life there. Secrets manifest before you. I don't really know how I'm winning this. I like, don't I They just get to like me just activating Ugin every turn is not really helping me. I guess I need to start attacking with Cavalier of Thorn. Yeah, I need to start attacking with Cavalier Thorn. Let's see what we get here. Not that great of a card.
I wasn't really expecting them to, to block like that, to be honest. I don't get to take up with Ugin now. So that's fine. All four Field of the Dead. Just hoping they don't have instant speed removal. Not really expecting it, but I need to kill this Golo so they don't get to just keep on... ...activating Golos. Beating four Field of the Dead is going to be really tough. Think how nice it would be if we had Rampaging Ferocidon. And every one of these zombies dealt damage to them. Take eight right there. Oh! Man, I'm not on it today. <laughs> I I wanted to adapt my incubation druids before, before it was my turn. That was the whole point of leaving that there. Hmm. Could have done that before. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, do 13. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm just taking lethal here. Yeah, like there's 24 of those things. Let's just do 10. Awesome. Awesome, Corn Lover. That's right. We're doing Sub Battle Saturday this weekend. I'm probably going to do another Sub Battle stream. Besides the Saturday, I'm probably going to do one more before rotation. Also, probably going to fit. I'm going to squeeze another one in before rotation. We have nine blockers. Uh, you know, 24 minus nine. That means 15 creatures get through. 15 times two is 30. We do not have that much life. So my goal is, I guess, just Ashiok them and see how that works don't need ceratops um nissa isn't spectacular but nissa can give us a lot of mana for the hydras but um i don't love turning my lands into three threes in a zombie world <laughs> Thanks, Caesar. Yeah, that's a good one. The card that that steals tokens. Yeah, that's that's a crafty cup purse, and that that card's rotating out. So the thing is, is like with the rotation proof decks, beating like Field of the Dead is kind of tough because the cards that are the best against Field of the Dead are all rotating out, and so it makes my life pretty tough for some of these um yeah ether gust puts the card back on top for like a the ramp spell eh. does slow them down yeah could go agent of treachery like instead of mass manipulation could just have agent of treacheries in the sideboards that does steal 
the field of deads like that's not a bad card to have uh they they usually do have like veil of summers and stuff too but Yeah, me having Hexproof Black against the uh, army of black creatures doesn't help. So, like, they, um, they still get to do damage. Hexproof just means that you cannot be targeted. And so, like, the the zombies aren't targeting me, though. So it doesn't, doesn't help, unfortunately. Gargos! So we can play Gargos next turn. I guess I could do both. So we're gonna go G and then these. Play Nissa. Nissa on a forest. The land shall conquer you. Attack. And now these add two because we have four creatures. We have Gargos. I guess Nissa's is not even good against Golos either. Draw Hopefully, we draw Hydroid Krasis. I don't even know how much we'd be able to craze this for, but it would be a ridiculous amount. Ugh. Well, we might as well figure it out. So it'd be uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, plus 9, 19 mana. So we would craze this for 17 here. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. My elemental friend. <laughs> Crisis for library. We gotta get aggressive. We're not winning the long game. So we'll sacrifice that for us to get extra points of damage in. Yeah, Gorgos adds four to the X count because it costs four four less to, to cast. So it adds four to the X count. Well, that's rough. Darn it. Did they scry to the top? Ugh, man, I need to attack with Incubation Druid. I forgot about Ashiok. Attack or play Ashiok? Why can't I do both? This is so sad. I think they scry to the top. Yeah, there's a Golos. Get that out of here. Yeah, I know it attacks a one turn clock, but it's just. Don't worry, I got this. It's basically like the, the incubation drew is not gonna do the other point. Like all they have to do is play a land, and they get a two two. Um, like by just playing one land, like the other the incubation drew is not gonna 
get there. Man, Mastermind's acquisition, a card in the card in their sideboard. So yeah, they wouldn't be able to search their library because of Ashiok, but they do get to do that very efficiently. The problem with playing the druid is then the druid has to chump the 2-2. Two -two. I'm just not going to play it. I wanted to be exiling Field of the Deads when I'm minusing when I get them out of there. No, I, am not I suppose we got another Golas out of there. I wasn't really expecting casualties of war and star of extinction. Whoops, wrong way. So I wasn't really expecting those those cards. So I knew this was a janky way to to build Simic, you know, for rotation proof decks. Um, you know, elementals is kind of the way to go. Um, but I just wanted to play some Gargos and some some big Hydras. Unfortunately, we didn't have the big Hydras when we had all that mana. When we could have Krasis for seventeen, we did not have the Krasis. Unfortunately, opponent played Star of Extinction. Is what the opponent just did there. So yeah, I wish I would have had if I if I would have been expecting Casualties of War and Star of Extinction. I wish I had Negates, uh, but they also had Teferi in play, so I didn't even get to I wouldn't even been able to negate it anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um, but there we go. So unfortunately, didn't get to do too much cool stuff with our Hydra Tribal deck. That's okay. That's okay. Two matches can go like that. You know, sometimes we get some small samples in the leagues but hydras are pretty cool and if you want to go hydra tribal with gargos this is the way to do it um this is a way to do it that's what i meant to say all right so if you're watching the video later on youtube hope you enjoyed the video and if so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there leave a comment all that kind of stuff if you like rotation proof decks also uh make sure to check out the playlist that has all the other rotation proof decks um, in it as well. But thank you so much for watching Simic Hydras, and I'll see you for the next video.